Hey algebra students, how you doing? Last video we talked about uh, exponent rules. In this video I want to talk about a few more exponent rules. Actually, um, just a couple more. A couple more exponent rules. Okay, so uh, we looked at negative exponents like uh, 9 to the uh, negative 2 is 1 over 81, right? Okay? Because a negative exponent does not mean your answer is negative. Your negative exponent means reciprocal, okay? And we also learned that 9 to the 0 power is 1, because anything to the 0 power is 1, with the exception of 0. And then, uh, and then of course, we already knew about positive exponents. So now we know how to interpret negative exponents, zero exponents, positive exponents. So basically any integer exponent we're cool with. But what about rational exponents? Ah ha ha. What about 9 to the 1 half power? What does that mean? Well, let's think about our rules. Let's think about uh, what if we took 9 to the 1 half times 9 to the 1 half, okay? And we multiply those together. I have the same base, and so if I have the same base and I'm multiplying, that means I'm just going to add those exponents, and 1 half plus 1 half is 1, so that would give me 9 to the 1 power, which is just 9. Well, what does that mean? It means that this number, 9 to the 1 half power, times itself equals 9. Well, that's just a square root, okay? The square root of a number, that's how you define it. It's the number when you multiply it by itself, you get 9. So that means the same thing as saying square root of 9 times the square root of 9 equals 9. We all know what that is. Square root of 9 is 3. So what does that mean? It means 9 to the 1 half power is 3. Ha, ha, ha. Matter of fact, if you uh, take a calculator and try 81 to the 0.5 power, 0.5 is a little easier to put in the calculator than 1 half, uh, you'll see that it equals 9. Take 25 to the 0.5 power, you'll see it equals 5. Take, uh, I don't know, 256 to the 0.5 power, and you'll see it equals 16. Why? Because 16 squared is 256, because 9 squared is uh, 81, and because 5 squared is 25. Each of those, the square root of 81 is 9, the square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of 256 is 16. So to the one-half power simply means square root. All right, cool. One-half is not the only fraction out there, though. What if you have something to the one-third power? What if you have x to the one-third power? Huh. Well, again, let's think about our exponent rules. If we took this and we said, I'm going to take this thing to the third power, then what am I going to get? I'm going to get, I'm going to multiply those two uh, exponents. I learned that in the last video. And 1 third times 3 is just 1. And so that means I'm going to have x to the 1 power, which is just x again. So that means I've taken this thing to the third power, and it gives me x. That's the definition of a cubed root. So x to the 1 third power is the cube root of x. And uh, let me give you a little vocabulary lesson real fast in case you've forgotten this. Um, okay, we know that this is the base, and this is the, uh, this is the exponent, right? But over on this side of things, this thing right here, that's the index. This symbol here is known as a radical symbol. And this guy right here, x, is the radicand. Whatever's inside the radical is called the radicand. All right, just a little, little vocabulary for you. Uh, so uh, Q root of x means the number that when you multiply by itself three times, you get x. And we can keep on going on and on and on. And what we're going to find is that x to the 1 over anything, I'm just going to call it n, is that root of x. That's one of the exponent rules that I was talking about. Okay, So if you have a rational number for an exponent, or in this case, if you have 1 over an integer for your exponent, that's the same thing as saying, as saying it's the nth root of that number. Okay? But, as we all know, 
not all fractions have one in the numerator. You might have a fraction like x to the two-thirds. What does that mean? Well, uh, what it means is two-thirds, that's the same thing as saying two times one-third, right? Huh, okay. So that's x squared to the one-third because it's going to be two times one-third. Well, to the one-third power, that simply means the cube root. And there you go. This and this are exactly the same thing. So if you have x to a rational fraction that you're writing as, in, as, a, as a, well, a rational number, there we go, that you're writing as a fraction, then what, the, what that means is the denominator is going to be your index and the numerator you keep as your exponent. So it's going to be the cube root of x squared. There's another way that you can write this as well. And that is x to the two-thirds is x to the one-third squared. Think about it. You can describe two-thirds as two times one-third. You can also describe it as one-third times two. Same thing, right? Okay, well, what does that mean? Well, x to the one-third is the cube root of x. And if we square that, we would just put squared out here. All this is, to, you're going to look at that and you're going to say, why, why, why are you doing this? All this is to say, it doesn't matter what order you take it in. This x, if you square it and then take the cube root, is going to give you the exact same value as taking this x, first take the cube root, and then square it. Let me give you an example. Let's say x is 8. Okay? The cube root of 8 squared is the cube root of 64. And the cube root of 64 is the number that when you multiply it by itself three times, you get 64, and that is 4. Okay? Or, alternatively, I could say, uh, let me, there we go. I could say the cube root of 8 and then square it. That means I'm going to take the cube root of 8 first, which is 2, and I square that, and I get 4. Same thing, okay? So it doesn't matter what order you go in. But the important thing that I want to stress here is that any number, x to the a over b power, if it's to a fractional power, what that means is it is the, the beef root, It's a weird word, the beef root of x to the a, or you can also write it, uh, the beef root of x to the a power. Those, those parentheses are just to stress the order that you're doing things in. Okay? And those are your last exponent rules. See you next video.